So, my question would be, is this planet, this place, this world of octopuses, snakes, and spiders, gigantic octopuses, snakes, and spiders that are humanoid, I'm assuming, and also fully evolved and intelligent, this planet, why are they, why are they the devil? What makes them so bad? How are they any different? How is any life any different? Or what would make one evil? And one not, and one damned forever, never forgiven, never able to be healed, and one always so good, right? I don't know. It makes me feel very bad for Satan, you know, or like any, any system that was essentially, go burn in the lake of fire, bad second kid, you know, uh, whatever big sky dad says goes, then, you know, I would feel like, fuck that. If that's the case, I'm gonna break that dude out that place and burn his dad's house down, you know? I don't know. Of course, never fighting, never fighting. One doesn't have to fight. One can simply stay the hand. There's no resistance when you're a server of the divine plan and in the highest good from your truest heart. So, I mean, is it not the spider's nature to eat bugs? Bugs think the spider's evil spider thinks the bug's food don't think that would make the creator think anything except that it's the natural processes of this entity right can we all choose to not eat the bugs and instead change and eat vegetables or whatever sure yeah that sounds fine i promote that I love everyone, and I think everyone should love each other and assist each other and never hurt anyone ever. And I'm sorry there's pain. I'm sorry this planet is so, so confused and so very stuck in this confusion for so long that it's been a really challenging mission here, but... Being a member of the family of light, you know, a server of the divine land, and a bringer of the dawn to, to you know, say, What well, up, uh, Barbara Marciniak, the Pleiadians, the bringers of the dawns, the family of light. We are here on mission. We come to save the planet, right? The most exciting part. Bring the boom on to the next one type thing. It's not about the win. It's about the whoa. Yeah, fun times. Anyway. So... To say that everything on this level, or anything in my opinion, on any level, that is like an evil race or a condemned race. I mean, there's probably, well, yes, okay, okay, there's parasitic races. That's just their nature, and they fully evolved as that. I mean, you're going to fully evolve here on this planet as the fully evolved ape species. There's like horse people, bird people cat people, dog people, everything you can imagine, absolutely everything you can imagine, and things you could have never imagined are are absolutely constantly happening and never happened at all, right? But now you, you can, uh, and have been able to for some years now, access and read the actual army documents from the 1947 Roswell alien interview, and that shit is like Nobody could have ever imagined that it was a remotely operated, non-biological doll body, freaky as fuck looking, that would only telepathically communicate with one woman because she was the only one there who wasn't a piece of shit, who was just trying to fuck over the alien and get shit from it, or like make sure, make sure they got some shit from it before they killed it. I'm sorry, excuse my language, I'm sorry. So yeah, um, the entity said that its name was Errol, and uh, that 
it was an isby, an immortal spiritual being who is only there because he chose to be, and operated that doll body remotely from somewhere or nowhere, and could take other doll bodies, and was a pilot for their, for a race that was so ancient that our area was just called the domain, or just the domain. Anyway, anyway, you should actually check out the army documents, which are even on YouTube, six hour long video. That guy's cool. And, um, yeah, so, in that book, it, in description, details this prison planet, and how the light is a trap, and how other Ismies, Isbies might be stuck in that system, because you get in, and then you get brainwashed, and then you're stuck, and, uh, yes, I was saying, the alien showed the woman that she was not her body by making her instantly be above her body and we are not our bodies and on so many levels we have many bodies I hear some squeak bites I love you no you look so funny she was so cool.